Florida, the fishing capital of the world. With over 2,000 miles of pristine shoreline, join three-time World Sailfish Championship winner and pro angler Peter Miller as he takes these lucky winners on a once-in-a-lifetime fishing adventure. From freshwater to saltwater, ocean to Everglades, come join us for a fishing experience like no other. This is Florida's Bass to Billfish, presented by Yellowfin. Hi, I'm Peter Miller, the host of Bass to Billfish, and today I'm here to talk to you about kite fishing. Kite fishing is one of my favorite techniques that we use for all kinds of fishing, especially sailfish. So today, if you stick with us, we're going to show you a couple of tips and a couple of things that we do when we're kite fishing. Well, here you have one of our tools we use, which is the famous kite. Um, these cost about $100 to $140, depending on which brand you buy. And the biggest tip I'm going to give you today is to put a balloon on the back of these kites, because if your line breaks or parts, you're having a really rough day, and it goes way out there. If you don't, these will sink to the bottom. So what we do is we put this on the bottom of the kite, and we just use a piece of wire. We twist it on, we twist it around, and guess what? This will save your day. You can go back and retrieve your kite in case your line breaks. So that's, that's one of the, the big tips of the day for this. So next goal is take this swivel here. Now we are going to connect the swivel to the ball bearing swivel. And then close it. Always make sure it's closed. And now we have the contact and the connection between the kite and the kite rod. So now it's time to launch the kite. We're going to let it away from the boat. You've got to make sure you catch that wind. There we go. So now it's going away perfectly. As you can see here, these are the kite clips. And what we're going to do is we're going to clip baits with rings right into these clips, lock it up, lock them up, and then they're going to go away with the kite. And when the fish bites, these are going to open up. We've set the tension just right. So when the fish bites and we come tight with our reel, we push the drag lever up. These are going to open, the bait's going to fall into the water, and we're going to wind up the slack and come tight on these fish. You can set tension on these, depending on the wind speed. If it's really windy, you might need to set it a little harder. We've got a little breezy day today. I'm going to set the tension a little tighter. On a light wind day, you would set the tension a little looser so the baits can come out real easy because you don't have a lot of tension on the kite line. Here is our kite setup. We go from main line into a bimini twist, right down to our first order of business, which is a ring. You can either use a ceramic ring or you can use the stainless steel ring. We prefer the stainless steel rings because they don't break. Occasionally we've had the ceramic rings break and if they break, you have to retie. These do not break, so that's the good news. Here is our cork, which is basically our telltale sign to see where the bait is. We're just gonna be swimming around like this. Then, if you have a windy day, we add a little weight to it. Then we add our bead so we don't get hung up there and then we go straight down to our ball bearing swivel and then down to our 15 foot leader with monofilament all the way down to our hook, which we use circle hooks. All the tournaments we fish require circle hooks and it's really a great method. Um, we've been using it for many years. It's mandatory and, and we don't fish anything else. So now follow me over to the kite clip and we're gonna clip this in and we're gonna deploy a bait. Okay, the next step is to clip it in. I'm gonna now put this reel, this kite reel in free spool using one hand over here and it's going out. You see the clip going away from me now. Okay. So I got my cork here. My, my clip is way out there. Now I'm gonna wind up. I'm gonna wind the leader out of my hand until I get to the hook. And now I have my hook. The next step is to take a rigging needle, take our little rubber band, put it through the opening of this rigging needle. Then we're gonna take the hook and put this through the rubber band. So now we're ready to sew a bait on. What we're going to do now is get a live bait and we're going to bridle this bait on through his shoulders. Now these are smaller baits. Normally we'd use a little bigger, but for today's purposes we're going to use a smaller bait. So this is how we do it. We take it, put it right through their shoulders here, just behind the head, right through there. And now we come around with the rubber band take the needle out, and guess what? We're ready to go.
Okay, now we're gonna throw the bait overboard. We're ready to go. We got our first clip in there. We got our bait sewn on with a rubber band. We have our circle hook, our leader. Everything's ready to go. I'm gonna flip them over the side. And now I'm gonna wind up the tension. You can see the cork going away now in the water. Here's the bait going away from the boat. I've wound up the slack and now our bait is just on the surface. They're splashing, they're throwing water, they're sending vibrations, and there's virtually no leader in the water. So now I'm gonna clip the second bait in there. We have number two getting clipped in, and I'm gonna put a fresh bait on that, and I'm gonna start deploying both these baits just before I start that. So right now, here we go out with number two. So once again, we have the rubber band on the needle, the open-eyed needle here, and we're gonna put the hook right through there so we're ready to go, and now all I need is a bait. You look like a good one. Hold them gently, not too hard. Put it through the back of the shoulders area. We're gonna go through the eye of the hook there, back the needle out, and now, once again, we have another Another perfect bait getting ready to go out on a circle hook. Here we go, good luck buddy. Now I'm gonna wind up the slack. And I'd say my long bait is probably 150 feet away from the boat right now. And the nice thing about this is that when you're kite fishing, you have virtually no leader in the water. You have about a foot of leader in the water. And as we know, the less the fish can see, the better off we are. We get better bites, we use lighter line, less line in the water. We want to be stealth and I think that this is one of the best methods for coming in stealth. Low amounts of line in the water, the fish is struggling because he's getting pulled from his back. You can see the bite getting ready to happen, you can prepare for it. See I looked over and I just saw one of my baits getting nervous. Fish on. Got to drop back, I'm dropping back. That was a pretty good sized swirl. He's on, winding down, no yanking. Is he still there? Yeah, we got a bite, folks. We have a bite. Coming to the boat pretty easy, so it's nothing big. Swimming right at it. Feels like a jack. Let's see what it is. There it is. It's a, it's a. It is a Jack Craval. Let's check it out. There's another one with him. It's pretty amazing what they can take down. I mean, you look at the size of that mouth and the size of the bait we put out. I mean, that was a pretty, pretty tough little job this guy went through to do that. So we better put him back in the water, let him grow. These are a lot of fun when they get big, boy. Go. Well, this is a lot of fun. We're in shallow water. We're catching some jacks here. But check out this footage of my first show with Brandon Lindsay catching sailfish and dolphin while fishing off the kite offshore Miami. Okay, Lindsay, here you go. You got a sailfish on, girl, here. Okay. With that line entering the water, now pull up. In the distance, you literally see it jumping out of the water. And oh, I see Ooh, his tail. I see oh, nice. Nice. oh, look at that, babe. Keep, keep that nice and nice and tight. Oh, yeah! Nice, oh, <laughs> hey, let him go. Oh. Hey. All right, go get the fish. All right. All right. 30 pound dolphin? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. All right. The real, real girl. Don't freaking look around. Whoa. Look at Holy that. cow, that's a big dolphin. Holy cow, Holy that's crap. a huge dolphin. Yeah. Woo! Woo yeah! That's what I'm talking about. We're about to get the release. As soon as that leader touches, we've got to release. Okay, pull up, wind down. Pull up, wind down. Bring me that leader. Bring me that line. There you go. You got it. Back up, Mara. Back up. Okay, hold it. Here we go. Here we go. All right. Yeah! Yeah! Woo! Yeah! Where we do it? Oh my God. Nice! <laughs> That's awesome! All right.